Chapter 39 And of the blue and purple and scarlet they made cloths of service to do service in the holy place, and made the holy garments for Aaron, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the ephod of gold, blue and purple and scarlet and fine twine linen. And they did beat the gold into thin plates, and cut it into wires to work it in the blue and in the purple and in the scarlet and in the fine linen with cunning work. They made shoulder pieces for it to couple it together by the two edges was it coupled. And the curious girdle of the ephod that was upon it was of the same, according to the work thereof, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twine linen, as the Lord commanded Moses. And they wrought onyx stones enclosed in ouches of gold, graven as signets are graven, with the names of the children of Israel. And he put them on the shoulders of the ephod, that they should be stones for a memorial to the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the breastplate of cunning work, like the work of the ephod, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. It was four square. They made the breastplate double. A span was the length thereof, and a span the breadth thereof being doubled. And they set it in four rows of stone. The first row was a sardius, a topaz, and a carbuncle. This was the first row. The second row, an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. The third row, a ligure, an agate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in ouches of gold in their enclosings. And the stones were according to the names of the children of Israel, twelve, according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, every one with his name, according to the twelve tribes. And they made up the breastplate chains at the ends of wreath and work of pure gold. And they made two ouches of gold and two gold rings, and put the two rings in the two ends of the breastplate. And they put the two wreathen chains of gold in the two rings at the ends of the breastplate. And the two ends of the two wreathen chains they fastened in the two ouches, and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod before it. And they made two rings of gold, and put them on the two ends of the breastplate, upon the border of it, which was on the side of the ephod inward. And they made and they made two other golden rings and put them on the two sides of the ephod underneath, toward the fore part of it, over against the other coupling thereof, above the curious girdle of the ephod. And they did bind the breastplate by his rings into the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue, that it might be above the curious girdle of the ephod, and that the breastplate might not be loosed from the ephod, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the robe of the ephod of woven work, all of blue. And there was a hole in the midst of the robe, as the hole of a habard john, with a band round about the hole that it should not rend. And they made upon the hems of the robe pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet and twined linen. And they made bells of pure gold and put the bells between the pomegranates upon the hem of the robe, round about between the pomegranates. A bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, round about the hem of the robe to minister in, as the Lord commanded Moses. And they made coats of fine linen of woven work for Aaron and for his sons, and a mitre of fine linen, and goodly bonnets of fine linen, and linen breeches of fine twine linen, and a girdle of fine twine linen, and blue and purple and scarlet of needlework, as the Lord commanded Moses. And they made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold, and wrote upon it a writing like the engraving of a signet, Holiness to the Lord. And they tied it unto a lace of blue, to fasten it on high upon the mitre, as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus was all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation finished, and the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so did they. And they brought the tabernacle unto Moses, the tent and all his furniture, his tatches, his boards, his bars, and his pillars, and his sockets, and the covering of ram skins dyed red, and the covering of badger skins, and the veil of the covering, the ark of the testimony, and the staves thereof, and the mercy seat, the table and all the vessels thereof, and the shoe bread, the pure candlestick with the lamps thereof, even the lamps to be set in order, and all the vessels thereof, and the oil for light and the golden altar, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, and the hanging of the tabernacle door, 
the brazen altar and his grate of brass, his staves and all his vessels, the laver and his foot, the hangings of the court, his pillars and his sockets, and the hanging for the court gate, his cords and his pins, and all the vessels of the service of the tabernacle for the tent of the congregation, the cause of service to do the cloths of service to do service in the holy place, and the holy garments for Aaron the priest and his son's garments to minister in the priest's office. According to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel made all the work. And Moses did look upon all the work, and behold, they had done it as the Lord had commanded. Even so had they done it, and Moses blessed them.